hello friends welcome to vidya's cooking channel today i'm going to be showing you how i prepared this traditional mutton fry recipe it's a semi gravy recipe basically you can add the masala to the rice mix it with rice and eat it it's absolutely heavenly this is a mutton dill fry recipe normally in bangalore the south indians here tend to prepare this dish i've not tasted this out of bangalore so it's a bangalore bound dish and we south indians thoroughly enjoy it especially the tamils here so i'm going to show you how i prepare this recipe i've done some prep work ahead of time here i've cooked and reserved the mutton so i'll show you in detail how i cook the meat so this is cooked meat that i've reserved we need to clean and chop all the veggies that is onion dill leaves slit the green chilies and uh, you need to clean and uh, just crush your garlic and reserve so all this prep work you do ahead of time your cooking process is faster we need uh, ginger garlic paste frozen peas i'll be using pepper cinnamon cloves fennel dried coconut cardamom cinnamon and uh, chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder here i'll be cooking the meat and uh, to cook the meat i've added oil in a pressure cooker i've added whole spices cinnamon cloves cardamom and i'll add the meat ginger garlic paste we'll add chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder we'll fry the meat for a minute i've also added salt to the meat and after a minute's time i'll add water cover the pressure cooker place the whistle on high flame i cook the meat for 4 to 5 whistles or until the meat is tender from house to house the pressure cooker works different so in my house it took 5 whistles if it takes 3 whistles please cook your meat in 3 whistles it should be tender that's it so once your meat is tender just reserve it you can use the excess gravy to prepare a meat curry but i am using a, just the meat and some gravy so i don't need that much of gravy or the meat broth so what i'll be doing here is i've heated a wok i've added uh, oil and ghee we need to prepare a masala paste that goes in the mutton so i showed you earlier i've reserved peppercorns fennel seeds cinnamon cloves i'll add half the amount of uh, chopped onions green chilies and that desiccated coconut we need to fry all this and we need to grind this into a smooth paste so once the onion turns transparent you can remove it from the flame and allow it to cool down add it to a mixer jar add tiny amount of water and grind this to a smooth paste so this is the basic masala that goes into this recipe so many people prepare this masala in different ways friends uh, some people add uh, coriander some people add uh, mint that's up to their tradition so this is how we prepare it at home now in the same wok i'll be adding oil and ghee again we'll uh, fry the onion garlic chilies curry leaves that is going to be our mutton base so we need to fry all of this so all the fried onion and the masalas are cooling down let it cool down for some time i'll add some water and grind it so this is our meat base all the ingredients used in this recipe friends will be listed in the description box below this video or you can click the i card above this video which will direct you to my blog in the blog i posted a detailed recipe i've added the spices here friends that is uh, chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder cinnamon cloves cardamom and i've also added the dill leaves finely chopped dill leaves i don't know if it's a bangalore thing but uh, the usage of dill leaves is more towards uh, bangalore i don't find this in chennai that much uh, but we prefer this dill leaves and i've also added uh, frozen peas i've added quarter cup of water covered the dill leaves and allowed it to cook for 5 to 10 minutes because dill leaves have to cook down a bit and the peas also has to cook down after 10 minutes i stirred it well and then i've added my cooked meat to this so now we'll just cover it and we'll cook the meat for another minutes time 
After minutes time, we need to add the ground masala that I prepared earlier. I ground that masala and I've added that masala. Here I'll be adding another quarter cup of water. This depends on how much gravy you want in this recipe. I've also added quarter cup of water. I've not wasted any of that masala. Just dilute the masala and add it to the meat. Now we'll stir all of this once more. Just check for salt. And again, I'm going to stress and tell you, it depends on how much gravy you want. You add water according to the gravy consistency you require. I'm doing this semi-dry, so I've added just quarter cup of water. Place the meat on medium flame, cover it, stir it occasionally and cook it on medium flame for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you need to remove the lid, stir it, again close the lid, stir it. You need to do this for another 5 minutes. That is the reason why I'm telling you to cook your meat for 15 minutes on medium flame because your meat will eventually cook down and it will absorb all that masala. So that's the reason. All the ingredients used in this recipe friends will be listed in the description box below this video along with my detailed blog post. All the links to my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter will be in the description box below this video. So do try this recipe friends, it's very nice and tasty. This pairs very well with steam cooked rice, biryanis, roti. You can just mix that gravy with some rice and eat it, it's wonderful. So now my mutton dill fry is ready. I just gave it a good stir and I'm going to be serving this as hot as possible. You need not garnish this with mint leaves or coriander leaves, but you can definitely add lime juice. Give it a good stir and serve it hot. But just check if your meat is well done and your peas are cooked down. So that's all you have to look into. I'm going to be serving my mutton dill fry as hot as possible with some steam cooked rice. We thoroughly enjoyed this. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe friends, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. I will be posting more recipes in my upcoming videos. Until next time friends, this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.